Hello and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Cooper Tennant. And I'm Eva Holzer. On today's broadcast, we'll be covering news from around campus and across the country. We will also bring you the latest in Seton Hall sports and your five-day weather forecast. Seton Hall has been ranked first above all private colleges and universities in New Jersey with an employment score of 92.55%. Vice President for Enrollment Management Alyssa McLeod says this ranking based on the U.S. Department of Education's data is further confirmation that Seton Hall's emphasis on hands-on experimental learning and internship opportunities pays real and lasting dividends for our graduates. This means that, among private universities in New Jersey, no one is better. Today, come to the University Center to decorate your own Christmas tree. The Decorate Your Own Christmas Tree event will be held from 11 to 2 p.m. and 300 mini Christmas trees will be given out. There will be ornaments to decorate the trees. Holiday music will be playing and hot chocolate will be served. Christmas is right around the corner and SAB is already getting into the spirit. On December 7th, travel with SAB to go see the Christmas Spectacular at Radio City Music Hall. Tickets are $25 to go see the famous Rockettes and New Jersey Transit round trip tickets can be purchased through SAB. For more information on how to take part in this Christmas tradition, go to shu.eventbrite.com. Need a festive break from the stress of finals? The Jubilee Jam Christmas Party will be held tomorrow at 8 p.m. Come to Jubilee Hall for karaoke, dancing, holiday treats, and an appearance from Santa Claus himself. Be sure to come dressed in ugly Christmas sweaters and Santa hats. Now we'll head over to Connor Hester with your latest in Seton Hall sports. Connor? Thanks, Cooper, and hello, Pirate sports fans. I'm Connor Hester, and this is your Seton Hall sports update. The men's and women's basketball team spent their Thanksgiving breaks in the Bahamas. The men's team placed fifth in the battle for Atlantis with a 71-69 loss on Wednesday night, followed by a resounding win against Southern Miss on Turkey Day, taking down the Golden Eagles by a final score of 81-56. They wrapped up their trip with a win against Iowa State, taking that one 84-76. Miles Powell set the tournament record with a total of 74 points. The Pirates are back in action on Sunday when they complete a rare non-conference double dip, taking on Iowa State in Ames. The women's team started their trip to the tropics with a 54-79 loss to Georgia Tech before rebounding and beating Vanderbilt 69-65, led by Alexis Lewis's 24 points. Their next game is Thursday when they welcome the UConn Huskies to the historic Walsh Gymnasium. That's going to do it for your Seton Hall Sports Update. Once again, I'm Connor Hester. Now back to Cooper and Ava with more news you need to know. Thanks, Connor. On Sunday, a Rosa Parks statue was unveiled in Montgomery, Alabama. The ceremony marked the 64th anniversary of Parks' December 1st arrest that started the Montgomery bus boycott. Parks played a pivotal role in the <coughs> civil rights movement. This depiction will inspire future generations to make the pilgrimage to our city push toward the path of righteousness, strength, courage, and equality, said the first African-American mayor of Montgomery. A New Jersey judge is facing discipline after suggesting to a defendant that men are in control. He has since acknowledged that the remarks were inappropriate. While addressing a domestic violence subject, Justice Brister suggested that men can't go at women like Mike Tyson and that men should treat women as if you're holding a feather just to let them know you're in control. He has since called his comments well-meaning but misguided. Brister sits in East Orange part-time and is an acting judge in Newark. Now we send it over to Joey Nardone for your five-day weather forecast. Joey? Thanks, Ava, and hello, Pirates. I hope you enjoyed that snow earlier in the week. I'm Joey Nardone, here with your five-day weather forecast from the South Orange area. Today, we will have partly sunny skies with a high of 42 and a low of 34. Tomorrow will be about the same with mostly cloudy conditions, along with a high of 44 and a low of 33. Friday, the temperatures will rise, but the sun will go away behind the clouds all day with a high of 47 and a low of 26. On Saturday, we will start the weekend off with a sunny day that has a high of 35 and a low of 30. Finally, on Sunday, clouds will move in later in the day with a high of 45 and a low of 40. And that's going to do it for your five-day with a forecast. Once again, I'm Joey Nardone, and now back to Cooper and Ava with the latest news from around the globe. Thanks, Joey. Olivia Jade has broken her silence on YouTube since the college admission scandal that broke in March. Olivia posted a YouTube video entitled, Hi Again. Olivia's parents, actress Lori Laughlin and Massimo Giannulli, were indicted on charges related to the college admission scandal. They are accused of allegedly paying their daughter's way into the University of Southern California. Olivia has almost 2 million subscribers. Thousands of Hindus have gathered in southern Nepal before a festival believed to be the world's largest ritual animal slaughter, despite court orders and calls by animal activists to end the event. An estimated 200,000 animals, ranging from rats to buffaloes, were killed during the last G Gadami festival in 2014 in honor of the Hindu goddess of power. While some advances have been made against the sacrifice, the only thing that's changed is that devout Hindus can be asked not to sacrifice animals, but cannot be banned from doing so. This concludes our broadcast of Pirate News. Once again, I'm Cooper Tennant. 
And I'm Eva Holzer. Thanks for watching and have a great day.